it's the Crazy Quilt Record Show. I'm Brad. I'm Billy. And uh, we're here talking this week about uh, a couple of bands we like. Uh, one of them is LCD Sound System, uh, favorite band, one of our very favorite bands. Um, and they have a new album coming out next week, so we'll talk about them in a minute. Uh, we're also going to talk about the Photo Atlas, uh, Denver-based band that's out on tour right now. Getting so big, you can hardly call them a Denver band. Going huge. Anymore. Yes, very big. So, uh, so we'll start out with uh, LCD Sound System. Um, here's a snippet of a track off this album that comes out next month called This Is Happening. Here's a snippet. Drunk girls, drunk girls have a couple of heart attacks. Drunk girls, drunk girls are unusually mild. But drunk boys, drunk boys keeping pace with the pedophiles. Drunk girls, drunk girls are boringly wild. Drunk girls, drunk girls get invitations from nations. Drunk girls, they got the patience of a millions of saints. But still, all right. So there is a track off the new LCD Sound System album. I uh, can't wait to hear the whole album. And actually, what am I saying? I've already been listening to it for weeks. It's uh, it's available online. Billy, uh, have you heard it? I have not heard it. You know, I will. I've heard Drunk Girls, uh, the single. The yeah. single, um, kind of reminds me of tapes off of uh, what was it, Sound of Silver? But I've only heard it once, so that's yeah. just a preliminary listen. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, Bill, that's sort of your thing, right? You don't listen to the album before it comes out, right? I try. I think what I like to do is secretly listen to the stream and have a formed opinion of the record. That way, when it comes out, I like to just pretend that I just formed an opinion <laughs> about the record right away. So you heard it or not? <laughs> no, I haven't. So heard you're it. sitting here in your basement like a monk. <laughs> your favorite band is putting out a record, uh, and uh, and you're just abstaining from listening I, to this great new stuff. I like uh, no to be to be serious for a moment. I I do like to wait and buy the physical release. It's hard. I will admit it's hard. I want to hear it. I'm excited for the new LCD Sound System record, but I haven't streamed it. I haven't heard it yet. I've been listening to it. And it's, I, I'm enjoying it so much. I don't I don't know whether to just completely ruin it for you right here or uh, or talk about it some more, but. But was there an album you heard uh, years ago that was just ruined by hearing the advanced stream or some sort of leaked thing? Yeah, you know, I think uh, one of them was uh, I listened to uh, years ago, uh, Kid A, for example, before it came out. And I think, I remember there was so much excitement for that that uh, kind of took the buzz away from me a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, still a good record nonetheless, but... I like the leak. I like the low-quality <laughs> files that leaked beforehand. And I, uh... I have no problem with what's in the it's all, music for it's at least still, huh? It's all about self-control, I guess. All so. right. <laughs> all right, anything else on LCD, Bill? Uh, we could talk a lot about these guys. Um, I can't wait, as you said, the, re the new record's coming out. Um, what is it, a couple of weeks? Um, DFA, I feel like we could touch on that quite a bit with the, with those guys. Um, with Brad That's their label, DFA Records, right. is they're on? Um, Brad and I, I do want to mention this real quick. We just we both had an opportunity to see them perform at Red Rocks, right? Of all places, and uh, I would have never have imagined these, this pairing would have worked. LCD sound system with Arcade Fire. I guess it was a co-headlining kind of a thing. But what I want to really just say is they just killed it that night. I mean, it was amazing. They were just they played uh, obviously Sound of Silver stuff and um, some of their early material, and it was. I guess it's just a band that when I've seen live, listen to the records, it's just one that I get really excited about. Kind of a more of a modern, new, uh, newer band, I guess is what I want to say. So. Great show. Yeah, great, great show. show. Good pairing. Uh, let's see, what do we play now? We'll play uh, some, some music from you by a band called The Photo Atlas, and they're based out of Denver. Um, don't sound that similar to LCD Sound System, but they have sort of uh, dancey grooves, but sort of mixed with a rock thing, mm -hmm. maybe like uh, The Killers, or they actually uh, remind me a little bit of uh, some other bands. So we'll talk about that again in a minute, but uh, here's a, a snippet of their track. <laughs> Uh, song by the Photo Atlas. Uh, if you want to find out more about them, you can uh, click the link at the bottom of this video and uh, check out their website or wherever we decide to send the link. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Photo Atlas, I, I like them. Uh, they remind me of um, At the Drive In, actually, uh, another sort of lost band or, right. or band that ended a little too soon um, and they were getting big about 10 years ago. That song One Arm Scissor. Right. And they sort of have that. Uh, 
sort of uh, low, a lot of low end and maybe a little bit of a dance groove almost, but but uh, really aggressive. That's what I was gonna say. A very just driving beat, very just had a very energetic, um, just kind of almost for want of a better phrase, the inner face, but very. Um, even though it is aggressive, very catchy, very kind of anthemic in a way, I, I would say. Um, seems like these guys are doing very well. They've had a lot of the big uh, magazines, alternative press, different people write about them. Um, definitely one of the more bigger, I would say, success stories coming out of Denver. They kind of remind me personally of um, another band roughly about eight years ago having a lot of success and hype, um, Hot Hot Heat. Another kind of um, band that seemed very geared towards a uh, mass appeal. I mean, their, their stuff sounds very well produced, very um, marketed towards just a, a huge mass appeal. I'm not, not taking anything away from them. It's just very, um, very catchy, very good stuff, driving beats like we've mentioned. Um, what can we say? It's good to see a band from Denver doing so well. Yeah, so uh, they will be back in town soon, as you'll see if you check out their MySpace page or whatever. So. Um, there you go, there's a chance to see them. Um, what else, Bill? What, when we do these shows, we sort of try to pair bands that have some similarities. Right. Uh, that, you know, last week we did Joanna Newsom and a local guy, Jason Hordesky, and said, Slash if you like Mama one, Magpie, right, yeah. right, if you like one, you might like the other. So, how do we do this week, Bill, on a scale of one to ten, matching one band with another? How, how similar are they? I will just go ahead and say from one show in the past to all in the future, 10 out of 10, baby. <laughs> so. oh, that's good. I don't know. I don't, wow, that's encouraging. I guess if, if you feel that way. Uh, I always have trouble with that, those pairings, because when I go on Amazon, uh, there's basically nothing I can shop for or buy on Amazon. They don't tell me I would like Coldplay if I like this. Like the most uh, obscure Norwegian death rock album, they will be like, you should hear this, uh, this Coldplay thing. You like this kind of stuff? Some death metal, some grindcore? How about Coldplay? It's killing me. It's killing me when I go on Amazon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for checking this out. Uh, thanks for checking out the music we play. And um, uh, what should we be listening to? What should we be talking about? Who should we be featuring? You can tell us by leaving a comment on here. And we do thank you for stopping by. Our uh, website is under construction, but it's coming along, and we'll have some more fun stuff on there for you soon. Anything else, Bill? I think that's it. Thanks for watching. This has been episode two. We'll see you soon. Have a good week. Enjoy your spring weather.